what is going on everybody it has been nine days since i last posted an indianapolis colts um madden 24 video i apologize for that <clears throat> in that one we got to see jake bobo do a lot of plays man i'll tell you what doing good it's doing good <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and play this game. Uh-oh, I did not. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's go back. Um, <clears throat> just to let you guys know, for any of you guys who are wondering about the Houston Texans gameplay, don't worry. It is still a thing. We're still going to do it. Um, as far as the Seahawks redraft remix, five days ago I posted my last uh, video of that one. <clears throat> or... <clears throat> The latest video I posted was five days for that uh, specific video. 65 views. <laughs> and and it's it's titled Seahawks Redraft Remix. Worst fucking wide receiver core ever. And I'm telling you what. <clears throat> we have... <clears throat> Man, my allergies are kicking my ass. <clears throat> So I apologize for the lots of clearing of throats in this uh, in this video, but I'm gonna have to get rid of Addison and Rieger, a few other players, because I'll keep Jackson Smith. But I have some horrible like we. <coughs> I think we lost that game against the Bengals. So, uh, but here we are. We're back with another Indianapolis Colts video. Let's do it. <coughs> see a run back on the opening kickoff this will be a touchback. there we go well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of I don't like Mac Jones man <clears throat> nice performance last week by him. I just don't think he's a good quarterback everyone's so hyped up on it but to me he's just not that good let's face it he'll never blame the receiver publicly Alright, here we go, baby. Come on. Yes! That's what we needed. That's what we needed. That's what we needed right there, baby. Let's go, baby. Dude's gonna get taken down by Buckner too. Damn! Look at that smooth catch. Way to start the game off, man. Way to start the game off. Oh man. <laughs> There we go. This is the run we needed. Let's go, baby. Jonathan Taylor, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. Hell yeah. Good. Good, decent yardage right there. <clears throat> I was expecting to be a, you know, a wide receiver connection or maybe a tight end, but I'll take Jonathan Taylor all day running in touchdowns, baby. <clears throat> we struck fast, too. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown. So now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is. And his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Throwing Jones. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's third and seven. Now Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Damn it, we could have had it. <laughs> could have fucking had it. It's all right. Hot quarterback? Come on, man. Jones is not that good. I really can't believe that's a, like, starting running back right there. Oh, he's limping. He's limping. Get him. <clears throat> there we go. We're in week nine. Nine sacks. It's about a sack a game. Doing pretty good work here. Defensive line. Popping it really good. Oh, sit the fuck down. Bro, this guy's all over the place. Got an interception to start off the game, and now he helps with a sack. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, no, he did get the sack. Hell yeah. I apologize for the clearing of throats again, guys. It's just nothing I can really control right now, and it, it sucks. <coughs> I should have been like the throat clearing gamer. <laughs> All right, so who do we have? Kenzie. Oh yeah, you wanted to talk, talk shit. All right. All right. Stride it downs one more time right here. Three, two, one. Dude, this guy is all over him. Who is this? Jones? <clears throat> Didn't I get rid of Pitt? Wait a second. Didn't I get hold up? Why the fuck is he way down here? Got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So on the other side of the field, there he is. <clears throat> as they've got things rolling on this drive. The throw over the middle taken in. There we go. Getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Oof, okay, here we go. And Richardson looks to throw once more. Oh, I'm not going to blame him for that. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Oh, there's another Jones. For that play, there was certainly a scouting report special. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to fucking try it. He's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense, and they were there to help. No fucking way. No fucking way. Ow. That's fucked up. That's crazy, dude. <clears throat> there we go. Second quarter over. Or first quarter over.
Start of the second quarter from Foxborough as the homestanding Patriots with the football. <coughs> Man. With a third down Again. Up. Sorry. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Jones. There we go. Let's get it. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. That's good. There we go, baby. Here's Bryce <coughs> on now to punt. Excuse me. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Come on, come on. Fielded at the 43. Oh. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And this offense takes over in punt returns shape. are just not my the thing. 50, first and 10. So here are the Colts to take over. They are working on that very aggressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to ten as they've got the lead here, first and ten. Woo! That and a little shady move there. The That's pretty good. There, good for 16 and a first. <coughs> this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying Get to free up some space, here. and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of oh, shit. under pressure, and down he goes. Jawan Bentley, the run to get in and finish off the play. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. <coughs> Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up in. Oh, that was on Anthony Richardson, I think. <coughs> Get out of there. Let's go, baby. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. Dance into his left. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. It's a good run. It's a good run. He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took Not bad. Gave it, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Oh, he's almost there. Set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. Can I push in? No, I gotta get it to Woods. Now Richardson. And get to him a sack. That was my bad. Second down, here's Richardson. I'm fucked. And now a stoppage, uh, no like fucking way he's injured. No. Why are they calling a timeout? Re -ri injury risk? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, fuck, I'm gonna put it in, bro. coordinator whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down now you're probably saying oh maybe i should have passed it right yeah uh. it's always 2020 20. <laughs> Stevenson to begin the drive and he will make his way back to where he started from and that's all as we will make our way to the two minute warning aye, 
Stevenson gets it again on second down. They'll wind up losing. Nice one. And now it's third down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here. Let's go, baby. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Just a one year. Yeah, that's right. That's right, my guy. What you gonna do about it? Our so our defense right now is doing pretty damn good, man. Does this bring back a few memories? Maybe the '85 Bears trying to move the ball against them, 2000 Ravens. Heck, how about the late '60s, early '70s Purple People Leaders, the Minnesota Vikings? Hard to move the ball against those types of teams. All right, so I have 58 seconds to score. We can do this. Fuck, man, they're just, they're really fucking him up right now, man. I know Bo Bobo's not that fast, but you know what, we'll try it. Oh, fuck that. I got a score. Get in there. Touchdown, baby. There we go. Yeah, yeah, my controller's slow. I get it. Let's go. 11 seconds left on the clock. 14 to 0. I'm happy with that. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. <coughs> oh, the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. <coughs> and he's up past the 20 to the 20. Dude, they have so many Joneses on their team. Oh, they have Giuseppe? The first down as they begin yeah. the drive. All right. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first They're not going to they're not going to stop it. Okay. <coughs> So we have come to halftime and halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the Fine third quarter and continue this mid-season contest. Fine by me. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. <coughs> Second half ready to get underway. The Colts were the lead and they will receive the football. <laughs> I'm going to do the Seahawks redraft right after this, so episode 7, I want to say. I may just do, like, not another commentary, because I know some of you guys that watch my videos probably are annoyed of the clearing of throw. <coughs> Constant noise, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I was, I was doing it all. All night. <coughs> I'm a bearded dad and goose. Um, but I was going to record, but it's a Friday night. That's right. Throw that football down on that boy. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. And the Colts have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. Ooh. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Tell you what, keeping the Patriots to zero, Bill Belichick is not having a good time right now, man. Just not having it. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. <clears throat> After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper. They need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown in the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. 
Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? <coughs> Put your shoulder against the ball and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. All right, that's a good run. That's a good run. Starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 all day right. and another first and 10. Off play action. Jones. Sit down. He's taken down. Send them back, baby. Send them back, baby. <clears throat> Damn. That's the fastest I've seen DeForest Buckner move. Holy shit, dude. Case in point right there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. <laughs> Samson Abukum gets a boom for a loss of 13. Bro, this defense is on fire. Offense is going pretty, pretty good. A couple things to, to work on, but offense is doing pretty good, man. Oh, fuck, I thought I could stop him. But yeah, we're doing good, man. Ooh, trying to breathe. Trying to breathe. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball. Getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written. Oh, and now some trickery. They faked the spike. And he's going to get this inside What's that? the 30. 23 yards. There. 12 yards, first down. Richardson to throw off play action. A short throw pulled in by Woods. And <coughs> almost gets to the 10. <coughs> 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. <coughs> We're doing pretty good, right? Richardson looking to throw. Oh, that's a sack. Fuck by Matthew Judon. Fuck. Matt Judon. Oh, I hope he's not injured. Okay, he's still good. He is still good. <laughs> Can I rush it in? Play action. Now Richardson flushed to his right. <coughs> and he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. Only 38 yards? Only able to get back a yard for his offense. Oh, and that leads us to fourth down. Back now in Foxborough. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And with Bobo things get looking it. pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Going for there it is. Wide open. Wide open. He's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts add on to their lead. Here we go, baby. That win streak is going to extend it up. 28 to zip. Gay is on for the point after. It's good and they stretch I'm loving it. So that this whole team <coughs> firing on all cylinders right now. <coughs> what do we got? Bengals 20. <coughs> Texans 14. Third quarter just ended. Okay. Um, kind of interesting stat, right? Interesting score. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, <coughs> things not looking good. You Tampa know, Bay 20, offense, Tennessee 14. The NFL so far this season, End of the third, this interesting. One, well, their defense has really struggled. Huh. On the draw, here's Jones to keep it. <coughs> and they get him down, but not before he takes it across <coughs> the 40-yard line. 
Oh shit. <laughs> and he might have broken his fucking foot. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Here's Jones on first and ten. That's caught by his big what? tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Dislocated knee will not be... Wow. Okay. That's not good. Looking to throw. Jones. What? He still caught them? <coughs> yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw again. They set up the screen for Stevenson. Pass <coughs> over out of bounds right at the 25. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Oh, so sorry this video is going to be <coughs> shitty quality when it comes to commentary, so my bad. They'll look to throw again. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Let's go, Brown. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they can take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right. So close to having them score. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not talking too much either. It's about 12:30 right now. Oh my, just do the Seattle Seahawks video tomorrow. Kind of towards the late afternoon, late evening. Um, just because I gotta, I gotta wait my, make my wife her. <coughs> Event sign. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. A throw to that's going to wind up incomplete. We got this. We got it. To bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Oh, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Ooh, almost intercepted again. Oh, my God. And stops from one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. That one completes a part. Come on, team. Really? Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final. We're gonna push him into right now they're playing for pride. Okay, whatever. And just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Fuck. It's fucking mad. Give him credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you you're going slow clap on me? <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but uh, they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. A there in just four plays. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. Yeah, guys, I don't think I can do... <coughs> This is going to be taken in by the Colts. <coughs> in the fourth quarter, they felt like 
I can't do the uh, the Seahawks redraft remix tonight because my allergies are just going insane. <clears throat> team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us yeah, 45 rushing yards okay 93 percent of the time you win the game that's the way you see that number is empirical three yards to go on second down and they've got three tight ends out there jumbo set from the gun it's taylor and he'll be brought what is he at right now he's only at 48 yards I guess we can make him. <clears throat> Excuse me, I guess we can make him score again. There it is. There it is. And the Colts are going to be moving to 10 and 0 as they add on to this big lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. New England's offense set to go. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably... Not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Throwing Jones. Oh, he dropped him. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And the Colts pick it up. And that will set him up. No fucking way. 38 seconds left in the game. Oh, come on. Here we go. The fucking tools previews. That's ours. Come on, baby. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. We also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled wow. a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. You're really going to kick it off to us with five seconds left? You're not going to launch it? Well, that's stupid. I mean, there it is. Game over. <coughs> Well, this was a really nice display of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away. And oh, man. Victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute both sides of the ball. 
you go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one. So for the Colts, they keep on rolling 10 and 0 now to start the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for New England, add another loss to the pile as they drop to two and eight now on the year. And Oof. they'll get a late bye next week, which might be coming at the right time. And they'll be back in action in week 12. <coughs> so for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, <coughs> Brandon Gordon, thanks for watching, everybody. <coughs> 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 Oh my god, I have not stopped clearing my throat all fucking night. I apologize. I am so sorry you have to hear that. <clears throat> it will be better by tomorrow. I promise you that. Injury? Who, who's injured? Who was it again? Oh yeah. Rodney Thomas. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. By tomorrow, this will not be like this. I swear. So here we are. <clears throat> Halfway through the season. We got a bye week. We're gonna go advance to the week. Bam. Going into week eleven, man. We're almost done. <coughs> All right, news. Anything news where the Defensive powers colliding Indianapolis for a Week 12 matchup between two of the league's top defenses, Buccaneers and Colts. Scoring might be tough to come by as Tampa Bay's number three defense visits the Colts and their number one ranked defensive unit. So we're number one for defense. I like it. Here we go. Let's check out the league right now with Jordan Love at the helm. Green Bay is 8-2, right? Goff is four and six. Purdy <coughs> is at six and four. Chingo's at seven and three. <coughs> <coughs> so we take the NFC West there. Um, Derek Carr is five and five. Ritter is nine and one, which is surprising, right? Mayfield is four and six. We're ten and zero. Oh. <coughs> Jones is two and eight. Um, <coughs> Daniel Jones six and five. Got Matthew Stafford at two and eight. Kyler Murray, possibly if they if he's actually gonna play, he's at three and eight. Josh Allen at three and eight or eight and three. Jalen Hurts at five and five. Got Lamar Jackson at seven and four. Herbert, four and six. <clears throat> Look at the Texans, man. CJ Stroud is zero and ten. Not looking good, right? <clears throat> So after having a bye week, we are third place in passing leaders. 59% completion, 2,600 yards, 26 touchdowns. <coughs> Rushing leaders. <coughs> Excuse me. Bijan Robinson is on there. Ezekiel Elliott, really? Okay, whatever. Receiving leaders. Isaiah McKenzie is still up there, so we beat Cooper Cup. DeForest Buckner is now on the sack leaders. At 10, Vaughn Miller, bro. We are halfway through the fucking season. He has 19 sacks. What the actual fuck, man? But look at DeForest Buckner. Tackles for loss. He has 18 compared to both uh, Micah Parsons, 11, and Mark, uh, Vaughn Miller as well. <coughs> <coughs> Crazy. Tony Brown, our guy, interception leader right now. Five interceptions. Got Bobby Wagner. Look at that doing his thing anyways guys thank you for watching again i apologize so much that's been kind of crazy <clears throat> i didn't tell you um if you guys stay late to watch the end of this video i'm gonna give you share you some good news <clears throat> um but it'll be in my seahawk video as well and a few other videos coming out in the next like day or two but <clears throat> My wife and I are blessed. Um, you guys can still donate. All that money is going to go to help take care of the baby and support my wife when she's on maternity leave. And I go on paternity leave, which means both of us are not going to be working technically. I get... <coughs> Excuse me. 
I get about 50 to 60 percent of my check out here. It's not, it's not a lot, but <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing some Uber Eats. I'm gonna try to get some paint jobs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But here's here's the good news. Just a couple of days ago, <clears throat> um, we had some friends over, and one of her girlfriends uh, said that her and her boyfriend were looking for a roommate. Not necessarily roommate, excuse me. Some tenants, right? <clears throat> for one of his houses that he owns. Um, super cool guy. Great family. <clears throat> Come to find out. <clears throat> they're saying, man, it would be nice if we could find somebody, some tenants, to take over this house. Because they're kind of struggling right now um, with jobs. Out here in Washington State, I'm telling you what. <clears throat> the job market is tough. Even if you have a degree, right? Even if you went to school for it, the money is tough, etc. But please hold. <clears throat> Long story short, they were looking for tenants. And my wife and I are like, well, what is it? And they're like, oh, it's a house. It's a three bedroom house, two full baths. You know, it's about 1,200 square feet. It's fine. It's small, you know, but it's got a yard. And they just kept going on and on. And we're like, We'll take it. How much do you want? So we were able to negotiate about four to five hundred dollars down because we're like, look, <clears throat> the place we live in right now, it's only a two bedroom. It's a townhome, right? So it's two levels. And we're like, we don't have a yard. We have two big dogs. We have a cat. We're having a kid on the way. Um, we won't have to worry about neighbors. So it's like, we'll take it. If you can match the price we're paying for at our place now. We'll take it. A couple days go by and they're like, <coughs> <coughs> it's yours. And what's cool about it is it's already a nice little home. Brand new siding on the outside. Um, <coughs> new paint. <coughs> Obviously, I'm going to paint it a different color. Um, but he's, he's going to allow us to do whatever we want to it. So if you want to put new flooring in, we can... Um, we're going to put some, uh, just like a fake 12 by 20, um, fake, that good fake grass, if you know what I mean, the one that actually looks legit. Um, we're going to get that in the front. Um, <coughs> put flower bed around it. Just whatever it is, going to look nice. <coughs> right? <coughs> so, here's the thing. We're moving soon. We have to pay for October. <coughs> But our, <clears throat> our lease basically says that, look, if they find somebody to move in sometime in the month of October, then they're going to prorate it and give us that money back, you know, however they do that thing. So that'll be good. But technically, we got to start moving, like, now. Um, <clears throat> but my wife and I are very blessed. Um she and I have been together for three years now. And uh, we got married, you know, just a little over a year. <clears throat> and I'm coming from a point in my life where I never thought anything good would come out of my life, right? I went through some hard times in 2018, going into 2019. Met her at the end of 2019, and just from there, all the years of hurt and heartache and... <clears throat> mental and physical abuse and just not knowing where to go and just not having a lot of friends in my life and people and support, etc. These last three, three years going on, almost four, um, have just been a blessing, right? We get married, we find this place that's just a beautiful home. Uh, it really is. I'm, I'm going <coughs> to... <coughs> Excuse me. Going to miss it. I'm mean, missing a lot, um, but it was a good start at home. But we couldn't have been blessed because we were the first people to move in with when the renter, um, the landlord, kind of redid everything, painted it all. Looks, it looks great. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna wrap this up because I I know you guys are tired of hearing me clearing my throat. So, anyways. <coughs> 
we've just been blessed with everything. Um, and now, when she and I were like, man, it would be really nice to get a house, a home, et cetera, et cetera. Like two months go by. <coughs> <coughs> and it happens, just so happens that her, her best friend's boyfriend wants to find tenants. And, it's, and guess what? It's six minutes from where we currently live right now. So we're still in the same nice town. That's crazy, right? Super quiet neighborhood. Nice, nice little home. So, <clears throat> I'm just saying this now. I got some painting to do on the 24th, 25th, and 26th of this month, which is September. So don't expect me to be on <clears throat> those days. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I got to paint our new place because he, again, he's going to let us put some flooring in there and paint it however we want. Uh, so I'm going to be painting that place. We're going to be moving. Basically, little things, little by little by little. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so there's that. Um, we got a baby shower coming up in December. Just just a lot of, a lot of stuff coming around, right? So long story short, I just want to say couple things i won't be on as much <clears throat> for the next month and a half <clears throat> when there's like <clears throat> a week gone by without any content <clears throat> <clears throat> between now which is the what 15th 16th which is the 16th of september if you if you see a week long period where i'm not recording don't think i just stopped uh, just know that I'm going to be in the process of moving and painting and doing all these other things, right? So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, there's that. So, just be prepared, right? Um, also, thank you for the 51 subs. I thought I had 52. I think someone dropped off, maybe because I haven't recorded in five, six days. I apologize. Um, but I'm already at my goal. So, now my next goal... <coughs> <coughs> is to reach another 25. So I want to get up to 75, right, by not this next February of 2024, but of 2025, because that will be a year from February 2024 to February 2025. So now I had 20, <coughs> I need to gain 25 subs for that. So I've already done my 25, I've already done my 50, I'm at 51, so thank you to the most recent subscribers, I appreciate that. Um, I'm just going to go for the 25, um, the moving, the painting, things like that. So once the <coughs> once Thanksgiving, Christmas comes along, I'll be on this. I'll be playing games. We'll have fun. So um, thanks for the love and support. Again, I apologize for my uh, allergies if this is your first video and you're watching all the way through. This is how it is, man. There's days where I don't have these attacks, and there's days that I do, and I keep clearing my throat, or you'll hear my mic kind of do this. The whole cutting in and out thing. Again, I'm sorry. But if you want to donate, it's in every description of all my videos. If you want to follow me on X or Twitter, <coughs> it's in the description as well. So thanks for the love, support. I appreciate you guys. <coughs> Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.